So I have this Excel file that I want to convert to GPX in order to use it in any G GPS, like for example Garmin GPS. So in order to do this, I'm going to use Global Mapper. But before doing that, I need to convert this this Excel file into a CSV. I will start by opening my Excel, and you can see that I have a lot of cities with their latitude and longitude. And I will start by converting this Excel into a CSV. To do this, head over to File, then click on Browse, and then navigate to your Work folder. And here in Save as Type, click here. And we will go to CSV comma delimited. Click on it and then name your file. For me, it's US cities. And then click on save. After that, you will get your CSV. Now I will go ahead and open my global mapper software. After opening global mapper, I will need to import our CSV file. So to import my data, I have two options. I can click on open data files or I can go to files and then click on open data files. Again, go to your folder and then click on your CSV file and then click open and you will get this window. So we will go step by step starting with the import type. I have only points, so I will select point only. If you have lines or area, you can select both options. For the coordinate order, you can choose between latitude and longitude, X or Y. You can see that my data starts with latitude, so I will select here latitude for the coordinate format here i have decimal latitude and longitude so i will select decimal or separated you can also choose other format according to your coordinates for the coordinate layout the first option is fields to skip at start of line so for this option i will tell global mapper to skip this first line so i will put one and for rows to skip at start of five I will ask Global Mapper to skip this first row. It only contains the names of my cities. So I will put one here. For the coordinate pairs per line, I have two. For the coordinate line prefix, I will select the first one. Coordinates appear immediately at the start of any line. And here I can refer the coordinate delimiter because I, I saved my data as CSV, comma delimited. If you are not sure what kind of the limitation you have in your CSV file, you can click on auto detect. And I will let other options to default. And then I will click on OK. My coordinates have unknown projections, so now I can set the projection of my data. So my data are in geographic latitude and longitude coordinate system. The datum is WGS84. And for the units, it's in arc degrees. And for the elevation unit, it's in meters, even though that I don't have elevation unit. So the most important thing here is you can choose any uh, projection depending on your data. So I will click on OK. And I will go ahead and import the base map. I will go to File and I will click on Download Online Imagery. And from here, you can choose any type of image that you want. For my case, I will go to Imagery and I will click on World Imagery. And I will click Connect. If you go to your imported data, right click and click on edit attributes you can see that i have also imported the feature names so the name of my city so i will close this and i will unselect my base map and now i am going to export this data into gpx format to do so go to file and then go to export and here click on export vector lidar format could look for gpx gps exchange format file and then click on ok Usually I just keep everything to default and for the export bounds you can choose which data you want to export so for me I will select all loaded data and I will click on OK. Choose where you want to save your GPX file, you can name it and then click on save. And this is our GPX file that we have just created, you can now use it in any GPS. So I hope that you got some useful information from this tutorial, if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.